This is Jared with Lightshine 3D Services. Welcome back. Now that we've locked our bitmap image in place using the Object Manager, we're going to now begin the, the drawing process. Now this is kind of uh, going to be simplified a little bit um, because this is very geometric and repetitive. Um, so really all we have to draw is a few circles and this kind of figure eight that's here. And that's going to pretty much be the basis of this drawing. It looks more complicated than that, but it, it really isn't. So we're going to go to our circle tool. We're going to move our mouse over the center point where we snap. And by the way, if you don't have your snap set to guidelines, object, and page, um, you probably want to do that. And I would, I would save these settings so that it pretty much always keeps those three um, selected. So anyway, we're going to go to our circle tool. We're going to hover over the center point. And when we draw our circle, we're going to hold down Control and Shift on our keyboard. And that will allow us to draw that circle pretty much right to the edge. Keeps it centered nicely. Now what I like to do is go to my selection tool and m move my mouse over this corner like I'm going to rescale or resize the object while holding shift. If I do that, you can see that it still keeps my same center point. Now to copy this while I'm doing this, I'm just going to right click once on my mouse and that will automatically copy this where it's supposed to be. Just like that. I'm going to do that once again to get my center circle here, the smaller one. And there we go. We've now created the three circles that make up this main shape. Now the next video is going to be quite longer. It's going to tell us, show us using the B-spline how to make this figure eight. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and we'll see you in video three.